Hi guys, Ben here with some reaction to the Champions League draw. Wow, what a phenomenal draw that is for Liverpool. I don't think we can ask for much better. There was a part of me when our name came out of the hat that wanted us to get Juventus and Barcelona. I don't know why. Maybe the needle, maybe the away days, I don't know. But um, i completely forgotten about the moscow Sevilla group. It came out, we got those two teams. <laughs> So, you know, Moscow, Russian champions, of course, not to be underestimated, Sevilla. We owe them revenge after the Europa League final a couple of years ago. Um, so that's not going to be an easy one. They've got a decent squad there. Finished fourth in La Liga last season. Maribor, I mean, who are they? I mean, we shouldn't be troubled by them at all. We shouldn't be troubled by Moscow either, to be honest with you. There should be no issues getting through this group. I know I'm going to eat my words if we do struggle. Um, obviously, Champions League in the last sort of seven or eight years, we've not really done anything. We've hardly been in it. Um, haven't really had a run in that competition since 2009, really, uh, when we... Uh, you know, we got knocked out by Chelsea, so, but I'm delighted. I, I think we can go, you know, if we can get a good draw in the last 16 beyond that, maybe. Look, I don't want to go too far ahead, but uh, the way we played against Hoffenheim, the way they set up, um, you know, they're a, good, they're a good German side. They're a good sort of equivalent to Sevilla in that league sort of side. Obviously, I think Sevilla are slightly better, but the way we attacked against Hoffenheim, Gives me real hope for the home games against uh, Maribor and Spartak Moscow. As for the away games, I think we're going to have too much. I think we're going to have too much quality, especially if we can strengthen the defence. We should have no trouble. These sides, I know very little about them, obviously, especially Moscow and Maribor. I imagine they're just going to come to Anfield and park the bus. And But I just think we're going to be too well equipped to, to deal with that. We saw against Palace, we had enough to break them through. And, you know, with Hoffenheim, they, they tried to come out and play. Obviously, they had to. They were 2-1 down, but... You know, we're just going to punish you if you try and do that. So I just think the, the sheer strength of our team, the sheer strength of our squad should see us through this group. And then it's all about seeing how we get on from the last 16. If we get a good draw, who knows what can happen. We can go, you know, we can go some real distance in this competition. There's no excuse not to now, um, especially when you look at the draw that likes of Tottenham got, having to play Madrid and Dortmund. I think otherwise the English clubs have just done very well. I mean, Man United have got Benfica, Basel um, and somebody else is pretty straightforward. I'm going to get the draw up right in front of me. So, yeah, United got, yes, they got CSK Moscow, so they're off to Russia too. Um, Chelsea, Atletico Madrid and Roma in their group as well as Carabag. So not so easy for the Premier League champions, uh, but they should still fancy their chances of getting through that one. Man City, Shakhtar, Napoli and Feyenoord. So, again, very winnable for them, um, but more tricky than ours. I think ours, out of all the English clubs, is the easiest. What a boost. What a couple of days it's been. Um, you know, the transfer side of things still wasn't looking great. Uh, my mate was just saying in the other side of the room, because uh, we're at work here, this is in the office, that's why I'm not in a major backdrop. Um, we all watched it at work. My mate was just saying that Arsenal linked with Van Dijk. Something that does seem to make a lot of sense, Arsenal signing Van Dijk. I don't know where that rumour's come from, but um, he's come in on Skybet uh, to about 11-1, to 1, so I'm not concerned. He wants Champions League football, obviously, but um, God, we need to sign Van Dijk, don't we? Imagine Van Dijk. Uh, Leading us to number six, but um, but yeah, what a draw, what a draw. I think you guys should be very happy with this. Leave a comment with your thoughts. Uh, I don't think there's anything negative that can be said about this. Obviously, the uh, as far as uh, if you're a travelling fan, the away days side of it, Seville is lovely, you know, lovely weather over there. Moscow is a bit of a trek. Um, I imagine the prices for these flights are going to go through the roof. Maribor, I was just saying, I didn't really know much about Slovenia, but apparently that's a lovely part of the world. Um, I just really wanted Barcelona. I wanted to go to Barcelona and have Coutinho score in the new camp. I wanted to go to Leipzig and you see Naby Keita, whether he's in red or, or still in Leipzig colours at that point, I don't know. Um, but look, buzzing, leave a comment with your thoughts, leave a comment with where you think we'll finish in the group and how far you think we'll get in the Champions League. Wow, come on Liverpool, let's do this. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. Please do subscribe for more of this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video for me and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. I'm Ben Might Say and all of those. Up the Reds, see you next time.